What's happening guys? Uh, got a Dana 44 rear end here, but this could be just any C4 Corvette rear end. Uh, now this is something that typically happens with your C3 Corvettes. Uh, you hear about it a lot happening with uh, C3 Corvettes, but this is something to look out for if you have a C4 as well. So on the inside of this differential, you have uh, a pin that locks the spider gears in and you have a snap ring and you have the teeth of the, the uh, axle stub uh, or the axle yoke, right? If you look over here, you have no snap ring and you have the teeth are missing on the one side there. You got a pretty good gap there. So you have, I mean, there should be a gap just enough to where you have the ability for an oil film to start in between the axle stub and the actual uh, uh, shaft there because you want to have oil on that, you know, for when you're turning corners and stuff. So uh, what you're going to look for externally uh, is, is this, right? So you have your axle shafts out of the car and you're kind of, gra you grab the yoke and you push it in and you push it out. If it doesn't move, you're good to go. Grab the other axle shaft or the yoke and if you have play, now this one here still had the 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 uh, uh, the clip on it. So when I was inspecting this one, it had this much play in it. You can kind of hear it, but anyway, it had that much play in it, and it was still being somewhat retained by that clip. If for whatever reason that clip were to come off then there's not really much that could happen. Sometimes it could get grabbed by the inside of the differential, chewed up a little bit, and it could cause some damage in there. But yeah, it is what it is. So anyway, um, if you have any sort of play in the side yoke like this, then you could run into an issue where I did, where you have uh, oil seepage on the side here. Now, if you let this go, uh, what ends up happening is you run out of the ability to uh, properly tune uh, the alignment on the rear end of the car. Uh, that's one thing. Uh, another thing is the shape of this causes this inner rubber seal to start getting chewed up. And when that happens, uh, you know, the further this goes in, you can kind of see what it's going to do. It's going to act like a lathe and spin down until this uh, casing for the seal is gone and then it will start chewing into the side of the casing here if that happens your casing's junk um yeah sorry about you uh but yeah so that's uh that's something you guys gonna have to watch out for now, this is a dana 44 uh dana 36 is also do it um and uh from my understanding uh from my understanding talking to people that have come across this problem uh especially on c3 corvettes um the two main culprits for the reason for this happening would be uh doing donuts or doing burnouts and well you know think about that when you get one axle spinning faster than the other it'll starve of oil and then you know you run into a situation where the heat treat you know goes away and then you soften that end and then you end up looking like that. Anyway, as far as the C4 is concerned, the geometry of the suspension just jams these uh, axle stubs against that pan, uh, you know, as a matter of the design. And any more tension that you put on it, say if you do donuts or you do a burnout, um, will exacerbate the potential issues you may have with it. Now, it is such a rare problem that I have not seen many others that look like this. Uh, Corvette Forum, I was able to find one other, but it's not a very common problem and it's not something that you're gonna have to really pay attention to. But if you do have uh, your axle shafts out or your uh, service and U-joints and stuff, definitely look for that. See if you can pull the, the yoke in and out. Uh, for me, I had a little bit of a clunk up and down with the yoke 
Uh, so that's that's uh, that's one way to check it. Um, I suppose grab the wheel and start pulling it as hard as you can and jiggle things around, see if you can't get things to move in and out. But if there's any movement in and out, I would definitely, definitely look at it. Um, this here is how it is supposed to look. And obviously this one here is how it is not supposed to look. So uh, let me get that put back in there. See how it sits in there. So if it was there, then it was sitting in quite a ways further than where it should have been. Anyway, guys, I hope this helps you guys out. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section and let me know if you have this situation ever happen to your C4. Um, I'd like to get information like this out there so people know. Um, but yeah, this should not happen unless that, that uh, clip is gone. So yeah and removed by hand so <laughs> anyway anyway guys that's all i got thank you guys for watching i'll catch you in the next one you guys have a good one